Hi, I'm Max Ruthenberg Marshall, founder of Porchlight. In this time of social distancing, most of us are spending a lot more time with our significant others than we're typically used to. For some of you, that may mean that you've realized the person you're married to is not someone that you want to stay married to. If you've made the decision to get divorced, you might be a little frustrated or concerned that you're not going to be able to get divorced while we're social distancing, especially since it's unclear how long these measures are going to be in effect. The good news is that in Georgia, many people are still going to be able to get divorced while social distancing is in place, uh, but not all of them are going to be able to get divorced. To understand why some, but not all, people will be able to get divorced under shelter-in-place orders and social distancing, you need to understand the two basic types of divorce. There are uncontested divorces, where you and your spouse agree to all the terms prior to filing, and then you ask the judge to sign off on your divorce decree and finalize your divorce. There are also contested cases where you and your spouse don't agree to everything, so you file a court case to get the process started, and you can either agree and resolve the case yourselves along the way, or take it to trial in front of a judge. People pursuing uncontested divorces will still be able to get divorced while social distancing and shelter in place measures are in place. Because you're just asking the judge to sign off on your decree and you don't need to go have a contested hearing, the courts can still sign off on that and finalize your divorce. They are limiting things like large uh, hearings and calendar calls, but they are still able to handle the majority of paperwork that is needed for most cases. If you want an uncontested divorce, it is important that you select the right attorney. Most attorneys will start you off on a traditional contested path just because that's more common and it's what they're used to. So if you don't walk in the door knowing all the details of every single thing that you and your spouse need to agree to, an attorney is gonna start you on that contested path usually. At Porchlight, we do things a little bit differently. We strongly believe that uncontested divorces are the best option for most couples and families, and so we help our clients find a way to reach an agreement with their spouse so that they can pursue that uncontested divorce. If you have a contested divorce, you still may be able to get divorced while social distancing efforts are in place, but it's certainly not guaranteed. One way that you could get divorced is if you and your spouse end up reaching an agreement and settling the case sometime during the process. Then you'd be in a similar position to the people who have uncontested divorces, and you'd just ask a judge to sign off and finalize your case. The other option is that as we go along through this experience of social distancing, the courts are using more and more technology. They're implementing it on a daily basis. The courts were not really equipped to hear hearings by video conference when the shelter in place and social distancing measures started. And as soon as they started, courts started trying to figure out how they could do that. So right now they are hearing certain types of hearings, um, typically smaller and uh, less intense hearings via video conference. But as that goes on and people get more comfortable with the video conference technology, they're likely to expand it and start hearing more types of hearings and possibly trials via video conference. That's gonna be true, especially if social distancing goes on for a long time and they need to move cases through the courts. The other thing about a contested case is that you can still make a lot of progress on it while we're social distancing. The majority of the work is not actually going to trial in front of the judge. So you can get your case started if you haven't had it filed yet, or if you already have a case, your attorney can be taking steps along the way to move it forward so that you can get divorced sooner rather than later once the social distancing measures let up. My recommendation to you is whether or not you want to pursue an uncontested or contested divorce, that you get started sooner rather than later. Most people are really surprised at how long a divorce can take. It can take anywhere from a few months to over a year. Hopefully we will not be social distancing for over a year, but uh, in the event that we are, you still want to get your case started. The sooner you get your divorce started, the sooner you'll be able to get your divorce finalized. If you need help or you have questions about your divorce, you can contact Porchlight. We're here and ready to help.